While I'm unable to join you in person this evening, I must say that I am very honored and just absolutely delighted that the University of Alberta's Office of Safe Disclosure and Human Rights is being recognized today uh, by the John Humphrey Center for Peace and Human Rights for their work with an award. Uh, so this is really quite wonderful. Uh, I'm also very pleased that the reorganization we undertook and the creation of the Office of uh, Human Rights and Safe Disclosure um, is being recognized because of its good work and that it has proved to be a welcoming and really inclusive place on campus and this award just reinforces uh, the success of this initiative. So thank you very much. I was absolutely delighted to hear about the recognition that the John Humphrey Center is giving this evening to the University of Alberta. And this recognition really goes to many people, not just to one person. It goes particularly though to the Office of Human Rights and disclosure for all of the numerous students and staff that they helped who had problems on campus and ensured that we treated those people with dignity and respect. It also goes to the staff, students, and volunteer faculty who spent two years rewriting our disclosure, harassment, and safe disclosure policy. It was one of the most progressive I've seen, and it talks about what the university should be and will be as compared to what we are now. So on behalf of all of the people at the university, I want to thank the John Humphrey Center, but all of the people who work for us to make us a better place. I'm the advisor at the University of Alberta for Safe Disclosure and Human Rights, which essentially means that I hold the responsibility to ensure that we have open and accessible systems for individuals who have concerns or want to make uh, proactive measures around matters of human rights. The Office of Safe Disclosure and Human Rights has many, many jobs, uh, and so primarily we're responsible for ensuring that individuals on campus have a single point of access for any concerns that they might have and certainly concerns related to discrimination and harassment and duty to accommodate. But in addition, uh, we do a lot of work around education and awareness. So we have a variety of educational programs that we deliver. In addition, we do training and awareness on things like duty to accommodate, discrimination, harassment, human rights, respectful workplaces, and just trying to ensure that everyone who comes here to work and learn has the best possible experience and are able to get out of the university what they were hoping to achieve in their time here.